I'm a huge fan of Frank Herbert, the guy who wrote Dune. And one theme he played with a lot is humanity's constant battle with bugs. How we're always trying to kill them in various ways, through antibiotics or vaccines or cleaners. And how that might not be such a good thing, because we actually need the bugs. And also, they're a lot stronger than we think and could eventually get mad enough at us to wipe us out. He wrote a bunch of stories with this theme, and they always fascinated me. So when I hear news like this, I can't help but think of him. The CDC just published a new report which says that nearly twice as many people are dying from drug-resistant infections than previously thought, thanks to the rise of superbugs. Superbugs, of course, are bacteria or fungi or other kinds of bugs that become resistant to the medications used to fight them. The stronger our medicines become, the stronger the bugs keep getting. And they're getting strong enough to kill more people than we realized. The report found that almost 3 million Americans get sick from superbugs every year, and more than 35,000 of them actually die from them. Doctors across the country are seeing more and more patients who have drug-resistant infections that they have no treatment for. People are getting a lot of urinary tract infections, for instance, that are totally untreatable with our medicines today. Also, when doctors insert catheters or other medical devices into patients, they're getting these drug-resistant infections too. And since the patients are already sick or weakened, the superbugs can quickly turn deadly. Michael Craig is the senior advisor for antibiotic resistance at the CDC, and he told NBC News that a lot of the things we've come up with to prolong life depend on effective medications to fight off infections while the patient is in a weakened state while undergoing treatment. For instance, some chemotherapy drugs are amazing when it comes to fighting cancer, but the patient also needs to be on antibiotics while their immune systems are compromised. So the chemo could fight off the deadly cancer, but the superbug could end up swooping in and killing the patient, despite the potency of the chemo. So what do we do? Make more drugs, of course. Despite the warnings of Herbert and many others like him, humans will continue what the experts call their evolutionary arms race, where we keep making drugs and the bugs keep getting stronger, because that's what we do. Like many of the bugs, we are a hive creature ourselves, hellbent on infecting this planet and beyond. We just can't stop ourselves, because we are one hell of a superbug ourselves.